Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. After months of patiently waiting, I finally got my hands on one of the new Ryzen 5000 chips, the Ryzen 5 5600X. Now I actually picked this up used for a whopping $220. Yes, I know, I'm still shocked at how low I managed to get the CPU. Some guy was actually getting rid of it because he upgraded to the new Ryzen 5900X and he didn't want this one. So he sold it to me at a very low price. I just had to jump in and get it. Now if you guys want to know how I always end up getting great deals on used PC parts, check out this video right up here. But a very lucky customer, I am now a proud owner of a beast of a CPU. And what we're going to do today is putting it up against my current CPU, the Ryzen 7 3700X, and see which chip is better for gaming. Also, we're going to see if I should even keep this 5600X or give it to my girl. But before that, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as I'm always pushing out cool content that you don't want to miss out on. Now let's get into the CPU and see how it squares off against my tried and true 3700X. So the 5600X debuted in the fall of 2020, but with low supply and high demand of the new 5000 series chips, availability has been very scarce, even here in early 2021. Some stores and sites have been showing consistent supply for these CPUs, so things do seem to be getting better. Now this 5600X is a 6-core, 12-threaded processor with a base clock of 3.7 GHz and a boost of 4.6 GHz. It's part of the new Zen 3 architecture, which brings improvements over Zen 2 like faster clock speeds and an improvement over its IPC by up to 19%. Now I know most of you, if not all, have already seen various reviews on this processor, so you guys understand how much of a beast it is. But the point of this video isn't to talk about just this CPU, it's to pair it against my personal CPU, the 3700X. Now comparing the 5600X and the 3700X, you can obviously see the differences. The 5600X is on a newer, faster architecture and has better clock speeds among other improvements. The other difference is that the 5600X is only 6 cores while the 3700X is 8 cores. I personally have the 3700X because I do a lot of video editing along with my gaming, so I know that 8 cores would fare me better as compared to 6. But in this case, we are specifically focusing on gaming. Considering that both of these processors retail for about $300 each at the time of filming, which is the better ultra-wide gaming processor? Now I know that not a lot of people use ultra-wide monitors. According to the Steam hardware survey as of January 2021, only 1% of users have a 3440 by 1440p monitor. So I'm only appealing to a very small crowd. But the reason I'm doing this test is because I don't see a lot of videos doing this specific test with an RTX 3080, so I wanted to do it so make sure that ground is actually covered. So to find out, we're going to test out both CPUs in my personal rig. Both CPUs will be paired with 32GB of RAM clocked in at 3200MHz CL16. It's going to be placed inside the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi motherboard, and the GPU will be the RTX 3080 Founders Edition. Now both CPUs will be kept at stock settings, and the only change in the BIOS will be the RAM being locked to its XMP profile of 3200MHz. And of course, the resolution will be 1440p ultra-wide. So now, let's get into the results. So starting off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, with the built-in benchmark at its highest preset, the Ryzen 7 managed to pull off 115.8 frames per second with 1% lows of 79.3. The Ryzen 5 squeezed out 123.8 frames per second with 1% lows of 83.3. This is only a 6% difference between the averages, but it's still a difference that has to be recognized. It's an old game, but it definitely pushes the CPU. In Forza Horizon 4, with the built-in benchmark at the Ultra preset, the 3700X got 153 frames per second, and the 5600X got 170 frames per second, which is a very nice 10% increase. In Overwatch, which is the game I play the most, 
at the epic preset and while doing a custom game with only Lucio's in the same map. The 3700X got 208.9 frames per second with 1% lows of 161.8 and the 5600X got 247.7 frames per second with 1% lows of 201.8. This is a very nice 15% increase on the averages, which can be very beneficial in a competitive game like this. Call of Duty Black Ops on the highest settings managed to give out 117.5 frames per second with 1% lows of 70.3 on the 3700X and 141.2 frames per second with 1% lows of 92.2 .2 with the 5600X. A similar 16% increase on this game really shows the generational improvement of Zen 3. Now Valorant was also similar, and while playing Deathmatch, the 3700X was getting 311.1 frames per second with 1% lows of 175.6, and the 5600X was getting 353.3 frames per second with 1% lows of 205.5 on the highest preset. A respectable 12% increase keeps it very constant with our overall results. And finally, in Cyberpunk at its Ray Tracing Ultra preset, while walking around the same street, the 3700X got 69 frames per second with 56.4 1% lows, and the 5600X got 67.3 frames per second with 1% lows of 55.2. Now it doesn't seem like Cyberpunk really cares about these two CPUs as this isn't the best optimized game. Now looking at the results, you can see that the 5600X is typically about 10 to 15% better than the 3700X, especially in esports games. And single player titles, especially demanding ones, the increase isn't as big to call it a massive difference, but you can see that Zen 3 has improved gracefully over Zen 2. So overall, I am very impressed, but I am not super crazy about the results. I know that a lot of people don't use ultra wide monitors, but because I do, I really wanted to dive in and see results between these two generations. And it's clear, but not overwhelming, that the results favor the 5600X. So like I said repeatedly, if you are stuck between getting a 3700X or a 5600X for gaming, then get the 5600X. You will have a great time with it and you don't need those extra two cores. Now personally, I'm going to be keeping my 3700X as I feel like the 5600X will benefit my girl's PC just a little bit more as she currently has a 3300X, so this will pair very nicely with her RTX 3070. I'm a nice guy, I know, I know, many to say it. but. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to hit like and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out and I'm always appreciative of the love. So thank you guys all for watching and we will see you all in the next one.